Hello friends, welcome to your own YouTube channel Achievers Data Engineering. My name is Gyanendra and in this video of Power BI interview questions and answer series, we are going to talk about what is the difference between import, direct query and live connections in Power BI. All right, so we will talk about the connectivity modes available in Power BI, which is import and direct query and live connections. And we will discuss in details what is the difference between them and when to use which import or you know uh, query option in Power BI. So let's get started. All right, so as we all know, in Power BI, we get three options to connect to any data source, right? So one is import, another is a direct query, and third one is live connection, right? So when we talk about import, when we opt for an option to import any data, so what Power BI does, it actually saves a copy of data within it, and obviously when it is imported, it consumes RAM or any disk space available in our machine, right? So when we will go ahead and use that imported data and start creating visualization, then it will consume the resources available on our machine. Though Power BI is smart enough and it has got its inbuilt engine, which will kind of uh, compress the data and it will boost the performance. However, space and other RAM features these kind of things will be consumed from our machine. Now, when we talk about direct query, as its name suggests, when we are opting an option of direct query, we are not importing data in the Power BI. Data remains in the same data source. We only keep metadata in the Power BI. So for example, we are connecting to SQL Server and we have opted for direct query instead of import. Then in that situation, data will stay in SQL Server as it was there, only metadata will be, for example, data types, table names, and these kind of things will be imported in Power BI so that we will use that as a reference to build up on visualizations and reports. All right, now the third option is live connection. So as it suggests, it's a live connection. And in, for example, when we opt for the live connection, again, we do not import data. Data resides within the its original data source. Again, for example, uh, it's a tabular model of SSAS. Then data will stay there. We only you know, bring the reference metadata so that we can go ahead and create some visualization. Now, at this point of time, these live connection and direct query might similar, but there are a couple of differences, couple of factors which make them, you know, different from each other. So now uh, let's go ahead and take a look. What are the differences between these three query options in Power BI? All right. So based on the definition that we just, you know, uh, saw for all these three query types, we kind of, you know, get into a glimpse what are, what would be the possible differences between them. However, there are a couple of more differences that I have, uh, you know, put in here. So let's go through them one by one. So first one is, uh, which is most common in import mode, Power BI actually saves a copy of data and saves within it. However, in direct query and both in live connection, data is not imported in Power BI. It resides its own database. Only metadata is imported in the Power BI. Now, the next is uh, when we are working in the import, we only get to work on the imported data, right? So because we have, for example, selected a couple of tables or maybe we have selected some limited data that I want to import in Power BI. So until unless we are not refreshing that, until unless we are not again importing some new data, we will only get to you know work on that imported data. However, in case of either direct query or in live connection, we always get the latest data so that we uh, we use that latest data to build upon visualization and reports. Now the th third one is. In import, because we have imported data, we either need to manually set up, uh, you know, some import again, or we need to schedule a refresh so that we can update the data. However, in case of a direct query, we though we don't need to, you know, schedule any refresh, but in case we are making changes into this, you know, source data. So to update the metadata, we might need to do some manual refresh. 
now uh, here i'm not recommending or it, it's not suggested to schedule any refresh due to the nature of the you know query mode though it is always recommended whenever we make any changes in database for example we are changing columns name in you know a database and we are referring that column in power bi then in that situation we will have to do a manual refresh or though we can schedule a refresh so that we will get up to date metadata as well now in case of live connection we do not require to set up any you know a refresh because data will be automatically updated always now if you talk about in terms of performance obviously because in import data is within power bi then it gives the best performance compared to any of the two rest of the two available options if we talk about direct query now both direct query and live connection they always query original database whenever we do any kind of transactions in power bi so for example we have published any report and any user is looking at a particular tile or maybe he is changing filters so every time someone will do any transaction power bi will go ahead and hit that database and query it from there so due to that performance would always be slow when compared to import mode however if we compare the performance between direct query and live connection live connection would be slow but it when it comes to you know compared to direct query it will be faster than direct query but it would be obviously slower than the import mode now import this direct query mode is only recommended when either import or live connection is not feasible uh, depending upon the database that we are connecting to now if you talk about the number of data sources supported so when it comes to import almost all the data sources supports import though there are some exceptions and in case of direct query there are limited data sources which are supported and we can get into details uh, now when we talk about a live connection this live connection feature as of now is only limited to three data sources which is ssas tabular model ssas which is nothing but like uh, SQL Server Analysis Services, Tabular Model, and Analysis Services Multidimensional Model, and a Power BI dataset. So, Power BI dataset is nothing but the existing dataset uh, that we have published on the Power BI services, maybe as a part of any other report or only a dataset itself. All right. So, I hope. It has given you some enough idea uh, about the differences between these three different queries available in Power BI. There are a few more differences that I would like to cover. So uh, let's jump on the another slide. Now there are a few main differences that I would like to highlight here. When we talk about import mode, we actually get all the options available, all the features that we have in Power BI, all features are available. We need to schedule manual refresh that we have just discussed. Now, if you talk about limitations in import mode, the only limitation is our machine resources. And uh, because there are some limitations when it comes to publishing any report uh, on the Power BI services, uh, when we have, for example, a pro uh, subscription, in that situation, we can only publish a Power BI report uh, that is less than or equal to one GB. So, if we have any you know data model which is exceeding beyond 1 GB and we are publishing it on a Power BI services workspace which is supported which is backed by pro license only then we won't be able to publish that this is one limitation and also if that workspace is backed by premium capacity then we will be able to publish only uh, a data model up to 10 GBs of size right so this is the limitation in case of import mode right uh, rest of the things so it supports it gives the best performance support almost all the data sources and all modeling and transformation features are available when it comes to import mode all right now when we talk about a direct query in direct query first of all you will see here we don't get to see this data pane in direct query right because whenever we will connect to any direct uh, query we will connect to a source directly then we won't be able to see data over here we will have to go into that database from which we are connecting and query data from there. All right. And as we discussed, 
only limited data sources are supporting direct query for example sql server oracle snowflake and there are few other things a few other databases which supports now it gives a slow performance when compared to import and one more important thing is when we are connected to direct query connected using direct query then we get to you know limited options when it comes to transforming data though this option would be highlighted and we will be able to go on the transformation and data pane but only limited options will be available there and any transaction we do for example if we go ahead and create any calculated columns uh, in direct query then in backend those transaction those transformation which which we will be doing in power bi will be converted into sql statements and will be executed in the backend when we will refresh or when we will you know run the will show the power bi reports all right we also get to work on only limited uh, dax for example uh, you know time intelligence functions won't support in case of direct query and as we discuss data tab is not available and this direct query option is only recommended if both feature, both these two options import and live connection is not feasible all right now again coming back to live connection live connection is supported only with three options uh, with only three data sources which is nothing but ssas tabular model ssas multi dimensional model and power bi data sets now when it comes to uh, live connection again we won't see the data pane over here and when it comes to transformation we cannot create calculated columns so in direct query we were able to create calculated columns but they were like they were getting converted in the back end in the sql transactions and they were be executed in the back end however in case of live connection we won't be able to create calculated columns though we can create measures but those measures would be limited to report uh, so for example we are working on report 1 and we are connected via live connection so any measures that we will be creating they will be working only on that report level all right so data tab will not be available and data refresh is not required as we just discussed all right so i hope it has given you enough understanding what are the three uh, query mode options available in power bi what are the differences between them so if you have any question at this point of time please do let me know in the comments i would love to answer that and i hope you have liked the content if do so please go ahead and hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on any latest video which i upload thank you for watching keep learning have a great day